terrifying scale of Australia's bushfire disaster is beginning to emerge. Remarkably, smoke can now be seen 12,000 kilometres away. It's killing. So the main thing over the next couple of days we'll be just pulling down fences. Um, there'll be some crews putting up fences, but it's about putting smiles on faces in the town. You see different people, stop and have a bullshit. I know you guys will anyway, but just see people around, um, have a chat to them. So the last two days we've probably pulled down between us all probably six or seven k's of fencing and put up another four or five k's. So today we're just ripping down another fence that got burnt um, so they can put a new one up. It's a pretty good community, Bucking as what I've seen over the last few days. Um, just all genuine, genuine people. Um, you know, you go into town, you have genuine conversations with people. They just so they just want to help other people really. So say if their house or their their farm got damaged, they just want to help the next the next farmer. And it was, it was awesome. Um, and a couple of the old blokes where we work, they just couldn't say thank you enough times. And uh, and you probably need to understand that that they're going to remember that forever. And I hope that you do too. You know, I heard a little saying. I read a little saying the other week. You, when you do something for yourself. You take it to your grave, but when you do something for somebody else, it lives on immortally. And every time those blokes drive past those fences or through those gates, they're going to say, those boys did that, um, and, they, and they'll never forget. Got here Wednesday night, today's Friday, so been fencing and then going to the pubs at night and having a feed and connecting with the community so it's been a good couple of days and really rewarding for us but it's good to get, get around the uh, community and they're doing it tough at the moment so uh, get your hands dirty and help out when you can. Yeah, just on behalf of the footy club, uh, yeah, just we, we want to say thank you. Um, you're welcome to the community. It's such a, you know, a tough time for you guys, and uh, you made us feel right at home. Uh, we just hope we could help out a little bit and put a few smiles on faces. So, you know, thanks for everyone for organising it. And Dan, we know you guys have you know, a long, long road ahead with the clean up. So, um, yeah, just happy to play our part and hope we help out a little bit. So, yeah, thanks for having us. They're all good blokes, we're getting good fun, seeing all the boys up here, getting their hands dirty, doing some hard work. Yeah, still a lot of work to do, but it's starting to get a bit better. With that little bit of rain we had, a bit of grass, starting to grow a little bit. Oh, they've been doing a bit of fencing. They've I pulled down fences. Really good, they've been um, real positive around the place and just helping out, putting smiles on people's faces, which really makes a um, difference, not as Stratch was saying, not just physically, but mentally as well, just really helping everyone get through these tough times. So yeah, no, it's been really positive and rewarding for everyone, I think, yeah. Once again, just couldn't thank you guys enough for um, your efforts in coming up here. As you know, it's been me talk the other day. I, I, I was struggling a fair bit, um, and you get these conversations with Clarko to start with. Um, it just popped me up so much instantly. 